far away amidst the icy gorges of Mount Kailash starts the journey of a river that is a lifeline for Northeast India, especially the states of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. Yes, we are talking about the river Brahmaputra. This originates in the Angsi Glacier near Mount Kailash, gently flows 1600 kilometers across the Tibetan Plateau, reaches the Great Bend at the Namcha Barwa and gradually transitions into the Indian Plains. But something very interesting happens in the bend of the Namcha Barwa where this river takes a sharp turn and plunges 2000 meters into the deepest canyon on earth before entering India as the river Brahmaputra. For decades this used to be a very calm pristine wilderness. But that era is now over because on 19th July 2025 China broke cover on what is being touted as the project of the century, an engineering marvel, the biggest and baddest construction project that is ever being attempted. The Medoc Hydropower Station, the Medoc Mega Dam. It's not just any hydropower dam. China aims to produce 300 billion kilowatts of energy from this mega dam, enough to power entire nations. But for the millions of people who are living downstream in the state of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh or even in the country of Bangladesh, this project is a ticking water bomb. So today we take a deep dive into the geopolitics and the human cost of the world's most controversial dam. So what exactly is China building? The Medoc project is by far the largest hydropower project in the world. It falls in the Tibetan Autonomous Council and the plans to build it is very very audacious. The engineers are planning to build 20 km long tunnels through the Himalayas near the bend of the Namcha Barwa. The plan is that they will divert the water through these tunnels, avoid the bend and directly exploit the 2000 meter drop, thereby generating enough amount of electricity. China says this project is essential to develop Tibet and for fulfilling its aim of becoming carbon neutral by the year 2060. And to anyone who is expressing concerns, China is simply saying that this is just a run of the river project, that they won't be storing any water. But of course experts aren't buying that, because these projects require regulated flow of water. And this critical and crucial ability to control the flow of water is what makes this a geopolitical weapon. So India sees this as a strategic chokehold. And there are two fears. The number one is that during the dry season, China may just withheld the amount of water. It can just choose to retain the water, thereby creating catastrophic drought situation in India or even in Bangladesh. And similarly, during the monsoon, they can choose to release water. They can deliberately choose to flood India. So New Delhi sees this as a strategic chokehold. And making matters worse is the data blindness. Because India and China used to have agreements where they shared hydrological data. These data are very essential and vital to know water behavior for early flood warnings, etc. But China has stopped sharing this data for Brahmaputra from the year 2023, just like they had stopped it for the river Sutles from 2020. So without this data, we are just flying blind. And the same is happening for Bangladesh. Because let's not forget they are dependent on the river Brahmaputra for 70% of their agriculture. And if the tap is turned off, salty water from the Bay of Bengal would just destroy their farmlands. So Dhaka is also equally worried about this situation. They are demanding Beijing for technical data. But in addition to these geopolitical issues, 
the main threat from this me dog mega dam is not this it is something else because this project sits on a very very highly sensitive geological area because this project is situated upon the great bend and the great bend sits on the eastern himalayas in texas now this is where the indian and the eurasian tectonic plates collide so it is seismically one of the most sensitive areas in the world and extremely prone to earthquakes in the year 1950 there was a massive earthquake of 8.6 it unleashed landslides so massive that they dammed the river temporarily and when these dams burst the resulting floods raised the river bed in assam by meters and history could repeat itself because in the year leading up to july 2025 there were more than 130 earthquakes of magnitude 4 or more recorded in this basin so placing the world's largest dam here is extremely sensitive extremely volatile and god forbid if this project fails the destruction in the downstream would be just catastrophic but yeah india is not just sitting idle to counter the chinese threat new delhi is fast tracking its own mega project the upper siang multi purpose project and the logic is strategic build a massive reservoir in india to act as a buffer so if china releases the water india catches it and if china cuts the flow of water india releases its storage so this is a part of the broader strategic hardening in the frontier In September 2025 India launched a 1840 km Arunachal frontier highway to allow rapid troop movement along the border. And India has also operationalized its high altitude Nyoma air base in Ladakh to counter Chinese air supremacy. But these strategic steps are not without its own vulnerabilities. Because by doing so, India has opened a new source of conflict with its own people. The Adi tribes in Arunachal Pradesh considers the Siang River sacred. They argue that India's counter dam will submerge their ancestral lands and destroy the culture as effectively as a Chinese dam would. Protests have intensified and government had to deploy central forces to secure the survey sites. Locals argue that it's a double water bomb and that living between two mega dams in a seismically active zone is a death threat. The Yarlung Sangpo that was once a connection between two civilizations today it's a front line and as concrete flows into the great bend one of the last known wilderness in the world is being transformed into a machine for energy and a weapon for geopolitics now whether for carbon neutrality or for strategic dominance the taming of brahmaputra carries risk that transcends boundaries and as the tectonic plates between these massive walls of concrete shift for the millions of people living downstream they can only hope that the earth doesn't shake thanks for watching